another video. So this video is gonna be another diva dialogue. So I got a silly little story about the first fight I ever had. Excuse my background, I have my windows open because I'm in New York City and this freaking weather is bipolar. It's like summertime again in freaking New York City today. It's ridiculous. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So like I said, this is gonna be a diva dialogue all about my very first fight. So I grew up in the hood, in Coney Island in Brooklyn. Like, it's just part of life when you live in that kind of area. Fights are inevitable. It's not something you can really avoid or prevent. So if you wanna hear about my first fight and how that, how that led to a series of fights that lasted throughout my whole freaking childhood, <laughs> First, before we get started, subscribe below. Make sure you like and make sure you subscribe because if you're watching, clear you like my videos, right? Right? So if you like it and you want to watch more, subscribe. That way you know when my videos come. You hit the notification bell so you can get a notification whenever my videos drop. And we can stay right here, right? Right here, me and you. Okay, let's get into this. See the dialogue. So, first and foremost, let's see what I'm drinking. Because you already know I have to have one for these dialogues because it just helps them go along a lot faster and better. So this is Peach Ciroc with Simply Raspberry Lemonade and I threw some cherries in there. Just because it's pretty. You already know it has to be pretty. But anyway, let's get into the story. Right? So... Lived in Coney Island, grew up in Coney Island. My block was 23rd Street. Um, back in those days, that's when it used to be big mamas all over the place, meaning like it was always old women who were always outside, who always looked after all the children. So when you're seven or eight, it's okay for you to be outside as long as you see a certain old lady on the bench. Mom, is Mary on the bench, can I go outside? <laughs> that's how it always went and she would look out the window see Miss Mary or Miss Minerva downstairs, and then I could go outside. This back in the days when kids played outside. <laughs> so, I go outside and there was this one little girl in my building. So, let me give you a little, before I get into the actual story, let me give you a little synopsis of how things go, how what the culture is like in these areas, right? So, my mom, took very good care of me. Um, I was always done up, well put together or whatever, but then you have these other group of girls who were really, weren't so put together, who were kind of dirty and, and dingy and whatnot every single day. <laughs> and mind you, I didn't make any fun of them. It's not my fault that y'all dirty and dingy and y'all mothers didn't keep y'all up properly, but anyway, that's what it was. So, because of this, this one little girl used to pick on me all the time. I mean, every single day, just about, I used to run upstairs to my house crying to my mother. Ma, she hit me. Ma, she did this. Ma, she did that. So one day, my mother wasn't having that shit no more. She was over it. <laughs> so I came in the house yet again crying. Talking about this chick is bothering me. So she's like, screw this. Let's go. You're gonna hit her back right now. So she grabbed my hand. Now, if anyone is appalled right now, that means you didn't grow up in the hood. Because at the end of the day, if you allow yourself to be bullied, you're gonna keep getting bullied. But when you stand up for yourself, either that shit stops, or now you know how to handle yourself and you can address these issues and not just get picked on and beat up all the time, right? So that's how it goes. So she's like, you're gonna hit this girl back and you're gonna hit her back right now. And that's it. She grabbed my hand. And mind you, like I said, I had never had a fight before. I'm only like seven or eight years old at this point. So we get downstairs, <laughs> the girl's sitting on the bench with her other dirty friends. <laughs> and so my mother's like, hit her back. So I'm kind of scared, you know, cause I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't wanna get hit. <laughs> so she's like, hit her back. Now, 
I didn't want to get hit by my mother. And so I was going to hit her back, but I was just thinking to myself, all my, all these things running through my head, what am I going to do? Is, is this going to hurt? Is she going to hit me back? Like, what is going to happen? So I was like, fuck it. In my head, I'm like, fuck it. And so I just hit her back. And I whooped her little ass right there by the bench. So after this fight was over, I'm like, oh, that wasn't so hard. As long as I keep hitting her, she can't hit me. <laughs> so that was my thought in all fights from then on. As long as I keep hitting her, she can't hit me. So that saved me in a lot of fights because I'm small. Like, <laughs> I'm only 5'1". And shit, that's on a good day. I'm five feet. <laughs> and back then, I'm seven or eight. I, w I was inches, like a couple feet high. But at my most, I was five feet tall. And I still had to fight these big bitches out there. So that mentality, I'm going to keep hitting her and then she can't hit me. That really saved me in a lot of different fights. So this started like years and years and years of beef with this girl and all her dirty friends and me and my friends but this was the first one so i'm gonna come back to y'all again i'm gonna give y'all more in this series about this little dirty girl and her friends and how they used to bother me all the time but the thing is like as we got older clearly the fights got worse and worse and worse i mean to the point where it's times where i feel like i could have gotten locked up had the cops been around or Shit, somebody could have gotten like killed or some some shit like it really ended up getting really 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 bad but this was the first little cute little first fight story <laughs> so if you like this story once again please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time